gentlemen welcome back to the shop today we're working on the little bantam again uh if you've ever had the um had it happen to you that your heater does not make cold in winter and in summer it just blows hot air it might be your uh heater valve that's gone so yeah i've got the new one in essence all it is is a little solenoid that prevents the water from circulating through the heater core on the inside or not so it's a uh, quite easy fix as you can well you can it sits right here at the back of the uh, firewall there's the two pipes coming in so we'll just take off this little piece of uh, trimming there oh, I'm not, I, I don't even think I'm gonna take it off completely just loosen it up let's see if we can get the heater core out so what we will do is uh, you take off these you can see this one is marked right so this one we can mark left and then just on the inside just mark the left one, the other one should be the right one. Oh, I can actually get my hand in there and mark it as right. So make sure that you've got the, the uh, pipe work on the right place. And now we can start taking it off. I've already drained the coolant. So unfortunately, that's, you'll have to drain the coolant to do this. Let's take off the little hose clamp. And I always try and keep them on the separate side. Uh, on the inside there's just a little electrical plug. It's just a solenoid energizing the solenoid. So I'm not going to get the camera in yet. Just pl unplug that one. Loosen this trim so we can get in there a bit. Just gonna be I think they knew what happened here when my bucket blew head gas. This hole. Gonna have to take out this hole though. Okay, so uh, the little hose bob that broke off came out in pieces. I just flushed it out. You'll see there's still some uh, water left in here that's been sitting in that uh, heater core for some while. Because the heater's not been working for quite a while. Well, so uh, I wish I could get you guys in here at the back, but there's just no way that myself and the camera will get in there. So I'm just gonna put this back in here. Get all the pipe work on. Five hours later. First one's on. Here we go, everything on its place, now we can just put the right side on the right, left side on the left. Get these clamps clam back where they belong. I found that a pair of water pump pliers is the best uh, bet for these uh, spring loaded hose clamps. If anyone's got a better idea, leave it in the comments below. Oops, too far. There we go. 
and now it's, there's just this little uh, rubber cover that fits over the connector on the inside making sure that they keep water out of it as far as we can and that just slips into place over it uh, and now we can get all the trim back and there we go channel one quick and easy one uh, how to replace your heater well on a Ford Bantam. Nice. Thanks for watching. As always, stay safe.